Hello guys, welcome back to Inside Electronics. So in today's episode, it's going to be a quick video about visualizing a full bridge rectifier. So anyone who is familiar with electronics know what this is. They can instantly recognize what this is. This is a classic full bridge rectifier circuit. Now here is a modern version of it. This is a full bridge rectifier module that do the same function, but it's an all-in-one module. So this is a more classic arrangement for the full bridge rectifier. Now. As we all know, the rectifiers are used to convert AC to DC and the full bridge rectifier is the most widely accepted, most widely used form of it. It converts the alternating AC to kind of something like this, a direct current. And it does that by conducting or turning on two diodes at the same time and uh, out of the four diodes, two will be turned on and two, the remaining two will be turned off at any given time. So for example, in this case, assume the positive peak of the AC sine wave is up here then these two diodes are going to contact through the load keep an, keep an out of the polarity of this uh, DC so it comes from here passes through this diode through the load and this diode and returns back to the source now when the bottom side becomes positive these two diodes are going to contact and these two are going to be turned off again the direction of current flowing through the load is same that is why it is called direct current so that, those are all the basics but we are not here to talk about it. What we are here is to see what exactly is happening inside the full bridge rectifier. Now of course you cannot see what is happening inside something that looks like this. Because it's a completely sealed module. This is coated in plastic. This is sealed in plastic. So we cannot see what is happening inside it. Because we have all uh, learned about electronics like this. Because most of the textbooks mention it this way. <coughs> So, as I said, we are going to visualize it today. So for that, here I have made a setup. Now this is a full bridge rectifier made out of LEDs. So these two diodes are these two diodes and these two are these two diodes. So red and red, green and green, they represent the diodes on all the four corners. Now this is connected exactly like this. And the difference between the diode, the full bridge rectifier made of LEDs and the standard full bridge rectifier is that this can handle much more current than what this can provide. This can this particular module itself is capable of delivering up to 1 amps of current. This one maxes out at 20 milliamps. Now basically these are also these are all diodes and this one is also diode. And when doing the rectification or when converting the AC to DC, this will drop a small amount of voltage across it, which we call it as forward voltage drop. And it varies based on different parameters like silicon germanium or <coughs> different different parameters and in typical uh, full bridge rectifiers or the silicon diodes they are getting dissipated as in the form of heat in here they dissipate it in the form of light hence we can see what is happening inside it so this is going to function exactly like this when the positive peak is on this side two of the diodes are going to contact because these are also diodes and when the other side is positive, uh, the first two pairs are going to be turned off and the remaining two pairs is going to turn on. Of course, we are going to see that happening. And let me explain the setup here. I have a step down transformer. This is an 8 volt output transformer, which is connected to my isolation transformer up there. So at the output here, I have two current limiting resistors. It is not necessary for connecting two of them because I didn't just because I didn't have the 220 ohms I have connected 100 and 150 ohms in series that's all about it and as a load again I'm going to use another LED because this cannot provide anything more than 20 milliamps it is maxed out at that because it, these are LEDs and if you try to overrun them they are going to get destroyed so as a load we can only use another LED and so I'm going to plug it now and you will see a lot of flicker in the camera but in real life, the flicker is not that visible. Now, of course, I can touch it. Nothing is going to happen because it's DC, not DC. Yeah, it is DC. It depends on where you touch, basically. But it is low voltage anyway, so it's not going to hurt me. The, fl uh, the flicker is not visible for the naked eye, just so that the camera is picking it up. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slow it down. So we are going to see which of the diodes are going to be turned on which of them are going to be turned off and we are going to see whether the working is exactly like how it was mentioned in the textbooks 
we are going to check that so on to the slow motion clip now now before moving on to the actual slow motion here is a close up of what is happening and as i said the flickering is just visible for the camera it is not visible for the naked eye unless you are moving it too much but here is how it looks up close now i'm going to do the slow motion and now i'm going to slow down the video to 5 times the actual speed of it and now here look at it you can see exactly which pair is getting turned on and which pair are not on at any given time and what seemingly looks like a continuously on load on the normal footage you can now see the load is actually getting turned on and off a number of times every single second because this is unregulated dc so as we have seen in the graph the dc is actually having a lot of ripple and that ripple is causing the load to be turned on and off based on the out actual output waveform so here now the footage is slowed down to 10 times the normal speed and you can exactly see the load is actually getting turned off and it is turning back on and you can now clearly see the pairs of leds that are getting turned on and off as well so this is what i wanted to share with you guys the slowed down version of the working of the full bridge rectifier made out of leds thank you for watching guys thank you for being a subscriber of Inc electronics do like share and subscribe to Inc electronics and wait for more videos thank you guys thank you for watching see you in another video